Hi guys and welcome to my latest tutorial and in today's tutorial okay it's going to be a bit of a different um, style of tutorial uh, per se so if you're a regular follower of my channel okay you'll notice um, I like to do step-by-step -step breakdowns of, um, of tutorials in this one though it's going to be a little bit different okay it's just something there because I understand people different people learn in different styles so before you start smashing that dislike button that you don't like it okay um, just take into account that other people like different styles and so with that what I would do is uh, for this time I'm going to do an image breakdown and um, so people can download this uh, PSD document that I've created this file this poster okay and you can uh, you can learn that way by just seeing how I broke it down and what I've done um, yeah it's it's as simple as that uh, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this sort of abstract poster okay I've done a David Beckham one so that should be popping up in the top right hand corner now if you're not, if you don't like uh, how I'm how I'm how I'm doing this tutorial, okay, go click that, and uh, it's a fantastic tutorial, and it's quite popular, and, and people liked it, and people have shared on uh, on Instagram and have shown me what they've created, and it's they've been fantastic. So, yeah, go check out the David Beckham tutorial. But I do digress. So, if you think at this point, uh, I've seen this similar style of poster before, uh, and you'd be correct because with the Euro starting, the England. Um, the Euros, the England uh, national team social medias have been creating posters similar to this with um, with this sort of style of poster uh, of the England players. And you'll notice a, a theme on their uh, on their social media channel. got all these bright, um, saturated colours and it looks pretty cool. And I thought I would do a tutorial on something similar. So I've created a, uh, a simpler version, if you will, of Phil Foden. OK, so it's it's not. As detailed as this one okay you can just keep adding more layers and make it more exciting but you know I just thought I'd do a tutorial in it anyway I notice I'm digressing so top tip first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you so I drag in the uh, the image okay and you can press I on your keyboard and anytime you see some colors that you like okay top tip bring that document in and you can just click around all right and they'll drop into your swatches of the uh, of the different colors of the players and then you can kind of add that to your uh, to your post in your PSD document if you don't see swatches up here, okay, just click on window. All right, go down and you'll see swatches there. Fantastic. So I'll just get rid of that. So yeah, PSD breakdown then. Okay, what have I done? Right, let's get rid of these. So there is a way to get rid of all these in one go. And right now, I can't remember what it is. There's a little short keyboard shortcut, I believe. So first thing I've done then is, okay, I've, I've sampled a color and I've used, uh, used this background. Okay, I hit I and it's one, two, five, four alpha bravo so that's what i've used as my background okay next thing i did is i brought in phil foden all right i cut him out using uh, the method i did in my previous tutorial and that video will be popping up here now so if you're not comfortable with a pencil you can do that and with phil foden okay cut him out i went to the camera raw filter and i'll open that up and i'll show you or you should be able to see what i've done there okay so i use this image here i cut him out all right, and I've just made these adjustments there, and that's all I've done on the basics. I've not done anything else. Okay, I've kept it uh, really simple. And I added a drop shadow as well, so I click into the drop shadow. Okay, as a layer style. Okay, that's what I did for that one there. Um, then what did I do is I added the next Phil Foden. So where are you, Phil? You would be on top of him. So I cut, cut out another image of Phil Foden. Um, this one I think might have been from 40renders.com. No, it wasn't. It was an image from Google. Okay, so I'll cut that out using the pen tool so it's nice and crisp. And I added some shadows. So hit B on your brush tool. Uh, hit B on your brush tool. Okay, pick a nice soft brush. Drop it down. All right, and you can uh, you can tap away. Uh, and add some shadows there. Okay, use uh, use different strengths as well. Okay, notice it's a little bit weaker there because his, his foot's not as hard. Uh, his foot's quite raised. All right, add some Doge and Burn again. If you follow the David Beckham tutorial, you'll see how I've done that. So uh, that added a nice effect and did some curves, and I just saturated him a little bit as well. Um, and then what did I do? Is I added images. So I brought in two images. And I'll bring them up now and I drop them behind and you notice all it is is I just cropped them out around Phil Foden and just simple enough added a stroke to both of them. So double click, go into your layer styles, add a stroke. Okay, I gave it 30 pixels 
and I clicked OK. And that was my images. Uh, and then at this point, I thought I would uh, I would add a, add, add a texture. So we've got like this poster effect. So if I go up to here, so I kept referencing this Ben White poster, and you notice we've got some uh, some texture photos as well. So what well, all I did was added a texture grunge grunge picture. I found that on the internet. Okay, again, if you download this document, you'll uh, you'll have access to it. All right, and just change the blend mode to multiply. The color changed a fraction. Okay, but it still looked good. And now we're starting to get that effect like it's it's an actual poster so it's starting to look good straight away as we're adding more layers um, and then I've got some white shapes so I threw them in as well and drop them down okay all I simply did I'll do it now so select my rectangle tool and we'll fill it with with a white and all I simply do is I made a rectangle something like that hit enter command T bring up the transform tool and is it distort yeah just distorted it sideways like that simple as that command j hit v on the keyboard so i've got two of them now and i just dropped it down and just did that and then i went back and selected both of them command j and then you can drag it across and then you can just keep making the shapes like that just keep multiplying them i'll get rid of these now just multiply them and then, um, yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. So let me just close that. So as you can see, we've got quite a lot of layers there. Just kept multiplying them. All right, make them whatever size you want. Just drop them in. And again, just look at this reference picture here. They've done it in, so they've got some white ones there and they've got some red and blue ones there, like similar like the Crystal Palace colors, which uh, I thought looked good. So I just thought I'd throw some in of them. Um, the England logo came next. So I'll put the England logo in again ripped that from uh, Wikipedia and with the England logo I added the texture and again with the texture okay just duplicated it dragged it on top held hold alt down okay created a clipping mask and if I press command T you'll notice I've just made it the same size as the logo so these creases up here are also apparent on the uh, on the England free lines logo again so it just gives that appearance that it's a bit of a sticker and it's stuck on Phil Foden, okay, all I simply did to get it on a curve was go to my ellipse tool, okay, make a path, make a circle, something like that, hit T for your text tool, hover to get that little circle, uh, hover to get the circle, where are you, one second, messed it up, let's go back to my path, Okay, and then there you go. So it just so you got like that little S through it. There you go, and you can type away like that. So that's how you do that. And I'm just going to delete them paths there and drag them down like that. One second. There we go. There, so that's yes. Yeah, so that's all I did with the Foden. It's just plain text. Um, what text did I use? I used. I can't pronounce it, but old accidents grotesque. Okay, I use that quite a lot. Add some splashes as well. Um, so if you notice there, if I bring the splashes, uh, got the phone in there. So the splashes, okay. So all I did, uh, B on my brush tool, right click, and I believe they come. Special effects brushes, okay. So just go to brusheasy.com. Um, yeah, brusheasy.com, okay, and just find some splatter brushes there. Um, uh, what's going on? Come on, Z, come back from there. Uh, just go to there, okay, uh, just a, a splatter brush, different sizes, round the few white ones around the ball and the pictures. Change the color, some red, some blue, just sampled from the image here and uh, just splattered them on. It was as simple as that. Uh, added the Nike logo in the background. Change, turned it to uh, red, so I just created a new layer over the top and um, clipped it to it, so then it changed it to the red colour. The text, number 20, I used, uh, what did I use? It's called Road Rage, again, uh, defont.com, it should be on there. Okay, you can see that. 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the paper texture, yeah, so I dropped in a paper texture, so we've got a ripped paper effect. So if I zoom in here, okay, you can see we've got this ripped paper effect. Uh, there is two pieces of paper here, but I've just masked away one of them. All right, and I just typed Phil Foden on the top, and I kept it as simple as that. It was um, it, it was pretty basic, okay? Just It's just coming up with ideas, okay? And, and you can create some sort of a uh, poster for it, so... Yeah, like I said before, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do something similar to like that, check out the David Beckham tutorial. I'll link that in the description below. I'm going to go check that out now. Um, so yeah, who's going to win the Euros, Euro 2020, in 2021? Let me know. Um, my money is on Germany. Who's your money on? Let me know in the description below. And I will see you in a tutorial very soon.